how to use the import wizard of VMware EXXI virtual machine on Proxmox virtual environment. I can understand that you must be struggling to migrate the VMware to Proxmox. This is extremely simple. Proxmox had made a lot of efforts. They have provided a tool which is built into the Proxmox. This powerful tool makes migrating your VM smoother and reduces the downtime significantly. So let's dive in and understand how we can migrate VMware to Proxmox. First of all, you need to establish a connection to VMware ESXi host. We need to mount ESXi host as a new storage in Proxmox. Once mounted, navigate to the ESXi storage. This integration allows us to access all the VMs hosted on EXXi directly from our Proxmox environment. Here you will see the list of all the VMware virtual machines available for import. Now let's initiate the import wizard. For a Windows 2022 server, for example, Proxmox VE will extract the VM's configuration from ESXi and propose setting tailored for Proxmox. These settings are customizable, allowing you to adjust them to suit your specific needs. For instance, you can set CPU type to match your host system, ensuring optimal performance. In the advanced setting, you can define the target storage for each disk and add Word IO controller. This controller is essential for enhancing VM performance in Proxmox. Additionally, you can mount the Word IO driver ISO simultaneously. I'll explain more about the Word IO drivers after the import. The boot disk will remain as SATA initially. You can switch it to Word IO SCSI in a second step post import for even better performance. Finally, you can specify network card type. You have the option to use unique MAC address or retain the existing one which has come from ESXi. In the summary page, you will display the final configuration for the VM. Review the settings. If everything looks good, proceed with the import. The import process may take some time, especially for VMs with large virtual disks. The import works best with the VMware version 8. If you are using VMware version 7 or 6, some settings on the ESXi may need to be optimized. I have provided a link where you can understand that how we can optimize the settings in ESXi 6 and ESXi 7. All right, so once the import is completed, it's time to start imported VM for an initial test to ensure that everything is working correctly. To enable Word I.O. booting, mount a dummy disk into the virtual machine first. This step is crucial for switching the boot disk type. Next, enable the guest agent and start the VM. and start the VM. Once the VM is up, install the Word IO drivers. Then shut down the VM again. After shutting down the VM, remove or delete the Word IO dummy disk by detaching it first and then remove the unused disk. Remember to change the boot order to prioritize SCSI disk and then start the virtual machine again. If everything is set correctly, the VM should boot from the Word IO drivers. After migrating, update the network setting. The name of the network adapter may have been changed. Install any missing driver, especially for Windows VM, attach a Word IO ISO and install the necessary driver. Make sure that you have updated your Proxmox virtual environment. Proxmox provided VMware 
import wizard in version 8.1.3 and later. The new import wizard supports the VMware ESXi 6.5 through VMware ESXi 8.0. I'll be covering more videos to help you to migrate VMware to Proxmox.